Alright guys, welcome back to part 9 of season 2 of my FM19 and Leeds United save that I've been uploaded onto the channel. Um, where we last left off, we played Bournemouth away from home uh, and we unfortunately kind of crumbled in that game. We got a really early goal uh, through Kai. I'm going to go with Kai. I'm going to say Kai. Kai George. Um, but unfortunately, we just capitulated in the second half and we ended up losing that game 3-1. So, since then, played Southampton. I went back and had a look at our previous results and we played the 4-1-2-3 or 3-3-3 three, three, three with, with a DM against Southampton last time. So I changed it and played with an attacking midfielder, we played size in that attacking midfielder role. And overall, you could say it worked for us. I think we had an overall pretty good team performance. Douglas once again leading the line in terms of average rating. And this was the goal that was actually scored. Douglas crosses it into George. Lovely finish. Um, Really, really good to get a result. Then we played Burnley, which who we also played earlier in the season and lost to. Um, we lost what three ones them last season, and once again we played with a DM in that game. So we decided to once again go for an attacking midfielder, but again nothing really happened. Um, yeah, I mean, if we look at the match stats here. If you look at look at that, we both had one shot on target. Nothing happened in this game at all. Um, Douglas got man of the match. Like he just seems to do that. Every time we get a nil-nil, or he, yeah, he always plays really well. But unfortunately, that meant we only got one point out of that game. Then we played West Ham, which is really strange because we beat them uh, four 0 earlier in the season here, four nil. Uh, and this game, uh, we dropped back to a DM because we I wanted to replicate what we did last season, and it just it just didn't work. Um, we'll have a quick look. It didn't it didn't help that we got a red card. Uh, obviously, it was nil-nil until we got our red card. It was Douglas, who's been our best player this season, once again. Um, good finish there. Little deflection. Well, big deflection, but still a good finish. And a good header from Gooney. Um, but unfortunately, the red card really, really shafted us after that. So, it was a fairly even game other than that. So, unfortunately, that means we picked up another loss. And I think that, at this point, completely writes off our chances of European football. If we manage to win then... Might not have been impossible. Um, it would have put us 12 points behind um, with five games left, which in itself is almost impossible. But now, being 15 points behind with five games left, we have to win every single game and Chelsea have to lose every single game. So we're definitely not going to get European football this season. Um, I guess we, if we can finish above Arsenal, if we can finish, to be fair, just finishing the top half, I'm happy. So... From first attempt, I'd like to not go any lower if we can stay above West Brom. Uh, I'll be very happy, but as long as we don't drop any lower, I'll be very happy. So, we played Leverton once uh, this season and we managed to win that game. Uh, obviously now, because Douglas got a red card, he is suspended for this game. We are going to chuck Pierce in. Hasn't got very good match sharpness. Uh, part of me is kind of tempted to put Clark in, but that's actually not even worth it because he has got even worse match sharpness. Um... Cooper's returning from injury, so he comes back in. And that means Clark can return to the bench. Um, we are going to switch back to Albeck and that deep, deep line playmaking role. Um, yeah, we're going to stick with this this lineup, I think. Um, in terms of the bench, I guess Ruth can come back onto the bench instead of Roberts. And yeah, I think we're happy with that. Um, anything we're not happy with. No, I think that's all good. We're gonna we're gonna leave it at that. Um, Pierce isn't particularly. I thought he's not actually as good as I thought he was. I thought he was a really good player, but he's he's got some okay stats, but he's just okay at everything. He's not really good at anything. Um, but I guess we'll go into the game now. If we can pick up, I'd be really happy with a win here. We've already beaten him once this season. Hopefully, we can do it again. And after that kind of devastating loss to West Ham. Uh, bef between this episode and, and the last episode we really do need another win now we really do need that to kind of just get a bit of confidence into the last run of games obviously we've got I think is it Man City and Arsenal to play still um, we need some confidence from this game going into that one so can Pierce deliver a good ball it wasn't a bad ball and uh, what can we do with it from here Phillips Aylin moving it around nicely but we need to create something now. So, Pierce, oh, come on. Pierce, get back into position. Close him down. Not really anything there, is he? And we've just, oh, we've... 
just been counter-attacked like that. We were all, we were controlling it nicely on the edge of the box, and they've just one shot, counter-attack, goal. But Mings is there, and he picks up his first goal for Leeds United. That was lovely. That was lovely. Bit, bit. It should have maybe got him first time, um, but it was lovely to get, get that. So, good save originally from Pickford, but Mings is there to follow it up. And that's his first goal for the club. Hopefully it won't be his last. And Kai George. Lovely to see him get his fourth goal. And within the first 10 minutes, we've gone from being 1-0 down to 2-1 up. Schweb with two assists, both from the corners. Hopefully now we can hold on to this. But can Everton create something here with Sigurdsson? Oh, that wasn't far off. You know what he's like. He's a very good player. Twenty-five minutes in, no more highlights since that Sigurdsson effort. It's a very even game in terms of statistics. Um, can Pieri do? I was actually looking to sign Pieri. He'd have been quite a good player because he can play left back and centre back naturally, quite fast for a centre back. Not very good as oh Seamus Coleman. Of course, it would be his first goal of the season, right at the end against us, right near the end against us. Of course, it would be. I feel like maybe we should change it up a little bit. Even though we're doing all right, we're doing okay, I actually want to change this up. So we're gonna say, I'm far from pleased, because I know we can do better. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move players like this. We're gonna bring Almada in that. We're gonna go for an advanced playmaker role on attack, bring Shaved back to a support. So we've got the wingers coming back to help out, especially to help out Pierce. Um, in terms of any other changes we can make, there's not much I want to do right now. I'm quite happy with this. Um, we're going to continue now with the second half. Um, hopefully that tactical change. I don't think in terms of the possession, in possession, out of possession, I don't think anything we want to change with that. We still want to be low tempo, shorter passing, working our way into sort of into a good area. We don't want to be rushing around, losing the ball. But I think having that advanced playmaker in an attack role will give us that extra body in the box to help out Kai George. But, I mean, saying that, we've got less than 10 minutes left and nothing's really happened. We are going to bring Alioski on, because Burrell's not really had a good game. Um, Clark's not really fit. I don't know why I put him in the start, uh, on the bench, really. Um... I do kind of want to bring on Clark just for that sort of little bit of match sharpness. I think I'm going to do that. We're going to put him as a fullback. No, not no, yeah, no nonsense fullback on defend. Um, which means that we can put Alioski on attack because he hasn't got to come back and support the wing back because he's not a wing back. And we've got a highlight here. They're going to take it short. What can Holgate do? I think that's Matt Ritchie. Okay, because he is dealing with it. Nice to see. Can we create something from here, though? I'd like to see, you know, punt it up the field, go on. Okay, he's in what I've asked of him, that's what matters. Shouldn't have said to pump up the field. <laughs> I've got my tactics sent to, not to play out of defence, but to distribute to the fullbacks and centre-backs. Not necessarily to try and play out of the back as such. Almada, <gasps> he's done it. He squeezed it in at the near post, off the bench, lovely to see, the things you love to see, that is one of them. I'm very happy with that. Now what we're going to do, because when we're in the lead, we don't want to lose the lead, we're going to load the tempo and go in like that, try and defend, be a bit more solid defensively, time waste. I see, uh, quite because I watch a lot of FM on YouTube, and I see a lot of player, uh, kind of FM players who don't like using the time wasting, they feel like it invites pressure. And to be honest, I completely disagree. I, I, every time I've put on time wasting, as long as you don't put it on too early and you leave it until like the last 10 minutes, every time I've never conceded, so far, I've never conceded a goal when I've put time wasting on. We always manage to hold on to it. But um, that's it, final whistle. We've managed to beat Everton, Everton twice in this season, 3-2 in this one. We were the better team. Look at our match rating. They had, a, you know, their, their goal scorer has done really well in terms of average rating, but Chavez done incredibly uh, it's good to see our goalkeeper getting above seven because goalkeepers don't really seem to get enough credit in Football Manager. Um, so, well done, lads. That's a good win. You know, we don't want to 
go crazy about it, but it was a good win, and I'm really happy with that. Uh, Chris Wood won one league our way from uh, Burnley having to pay us 250k. Um, apparently, he's worth 26 million now. Um, that surprises me. He's a good player. He's not an amazing player. How has he done though in the Premier League? He's got nine goals, ten. Go Do you know what? That's not bad. That's not a bad uh, kind of amount of goals, is it? Shved really proud with of your chances created in that game. He's got very good morale. Good to see. So we obviously we are now coming up towards the end of the season. Um, yeah, we're it's really quite a weird feeling actually because like I said before I'm really surprised that I'm enjoying this as much as I thought I would um, and I kind of do want to see where I can take this team obviously in the first season we didn't make the signings for the long term we made signings like Albeck who he's 30 years old I mean we bought him in for 1 million he's now worth 7.5 apparently I mean we've done really brilliantly with him he's been really brilliant for us but I didn't buy him for the long term he was bought for that one season to get us out of the championship um, but in this season, we play, sign players like Schwed. He's 22 years old. He's well worth eight million. We pay four and a half. We 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 bought players like that with the expectation that within a few years they would be really good players. And players like Barrio, 19 years old. He's worth eight and a half. We spent it, paid two for him. If you just look at him, he's incredible. His statistics are amazing. It's just his finishing letting him down. But he's 19 years old. And actually, if we go to training. We are well. We were. Uh, training him on his shootings, but maybe that expired after the month ended. But this season, obviously, like I said, we, we've signed these players. We've signed Kai George, 18 years old, worth 22 million after we spent 13 on him. Um, he's going to be incredible. He's going to be insane. Almada, we always know if he's looked after, he's insane. He's already insane. He's 18 years old. Obviously, he's worth 9.5. We spent 1.7, an absolute bargain. Um, I think some of the signs we've made are just going to be so good for us in the long term. Even just managing to keep hold of Jack Clark, who apparently is worth 14.75 million. We were willing to let him go for 5 million last season. Um, and he's a player who could be really good, even though he's not a regular starter now. So, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. Um, I kind of want to keep playing this in my spare time. Uh, which I didn't. I, 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 don't, I haven't even mentioned Centurion. Look how good he is. He's an incredible goalkeeper, uh, and he's only twenty. And sorry, nineteen years old. T uh, Ten under twenty caps for Argentina. So there's there's so much potential in this team going forward, and I think I might play some of this in my spare time. Maybe we'll do like a season wrap up. So where does that leave us? We're ninth in the Premier League still. Ooh. Um. We are now four points clear of West Brom, so hopefully we can maintain that. Obviously, how many? Thirteen points behind Bournemouth. That puts us out of reach uh, officially. So we definitely can't make top six. But I'm really happy where we are. Forty-eight points already. Even if we just get two more wins this season, we've got four games. We've got Man City, Arsenal, West Brom, Fulham. I'd say all of those. Apart from maybe the Fulham game are going to be tough. West Brom's going to be tough away from home. Obviously Man City and Arsenal um, are going to be really hard games. So I'm going to play these two off camera. Hopefully they'll do really well. And we'll come back for the West Brom and Fulham game as like a season finale. And I think what I'll do is I'll do one final episode after that game to do like a wrap up of what's happened in the season. So I hope you have enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed it. Like I said, I know we're only getting a few views, but even if one person watches it and they go away and they think, that was entertaining, I want to come back and watch another one. That in itself means a lot to me, and I'm going to keep putting out content because I enjoy it and because I hope that someone else can enjoy it as well. Especially, you know, everyone's in lockdown. Everyone's got plenty of time on their hands. So I hope you have enjoyed. But if you have, please like the video. Uh, take care and goodbye.